it's Friday, I don't know, February 24th maybe or something like that, I don't remember the date, but the puppies are still for three weeks, um, and this is what they look like, this is their little pee pad area, I tried painter's tape this morning and obviously that's not working very well to keep the pee pads in place, but they are using the pee pads, you can see there's one little accident over by the toy, but um, they're doing pretty well, that's actually all by themselves, they're using the, the pee pads, so um, the thing to know about pee pads is, is that um, if you are going to try and use them as part of your going home system, you're going to want to get the ones that are scented with a pheromone on it, which helps them understand that that's where they go to the bathroom, um, and it attracts them and helps them to know, obviously. Good morning, everybody. They're tootling around, as you can see. They're starting to bite and bark and growl and fight a little bit. They're exploring their environment. There's a ranger in the back left there. Uh, yeah, a little bit of weight. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. And um, yeah, this is kind of what it's looking like now. Obviously progressing and So they're still in their welcome pen. They will be for um, till after the weekend. We might make their space a little bit bigger. If you go too big too quickly, you end up um, the puppies end up not really realizing where they need to go to the bathroom, and then you start having more errors as far as the potty training goes. At this point, we're just thankful that they're even trying it because they're little and they're still just trying to figure the skill out. So the smaller the space the more accuracy and so you need to balance that with them having more room to play and